shortly after the legislative session was done that year, I shipped off to basic training at Fort Jackson, South Carolina. It was the summer, and uh, I, I'd never been through anything like that before, but I went in with an open mind, and uh, it, was, it was quite an experience. <laughs> One of the, you know, when we first got there to Fort Jackson, we go to this kind of holding area where you do your in-processing, they figure out what size boots you wear and what size uniforms and, and do all of those things. And uh, we saw these people walking around wearing these big hats and we knew that they were the drill sergeants and that they were a big deal, but we didn't know how big of a deal they really were. And uh, so when it came time for us to start, we had all of our equipment issued and everything. We stood in a line to get on the bus and we had our huge bags, two huge bags, each of us had two bags and they were stacked right in front of us and the drill sergeants were silent as we got on the bus. So I was thinking, okay, this, this seems a little bit too quiet as compared to what I'd seen in the movies. But as we sat there, the drill sergeant stood at the front of the bus staring back at us the entire ride there. It was about a 30 or 40 minute ride. And the moment we stepped off the bus, literally the moment we stepped off the bus, it was like all hell broke loose. And we heard screaming and yelling coming from all different directions and you kind of just don't even know what's going on. They tell you uh, some of our bags had already been lined up on the field. So we're running along with our bags trying to figure out what do we do? And we're told you have three minutes to find your bag in this mass of 250 green army bags. And we didn't find our bags in three minutes. <laughs> so a whole bunch of push-ups and exercises and screaming and yelling, you know, started from there. But uh, so that was, that was the beginning of a nine week uh, boot camp experience.